See, at first I was going to come on here with a fresh retwist, but then I was like, they need to see, okay? <laughs> they need to see what three months really looks like, okay? Then <laughs> dip me underway. Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? I'm Dara, aka Insecurely Natural. For those that are new here, welcome. If you've been here already, welcome back. Okay. So this is a long overdue video, y'all. I was supposed to update monthly, but you know, things happen. Life happens. So in this video, I'm going to be giving a brief update of months one through three in my lock journey right now starter lock journey so y'all starting off in the first month it was <laughs> literally a journey okay at first when i first started off you know with the starter locks they was cute or whatever i was like yes but as the weeks went on you know <sighs> There's this thing that goes around about the ugly stage. And although I didn't want to call it an ugly stage, and I still don't, it was a rough stage. And I don't know if I'm out of the woods yet, but that first month, y'all, <clears throat> it was definitely a rough stage for your girl, okay? So I had planned on embracing my locks like throughout the whole journey i said i wasn't gonna wear no tire bins you know what i'm saying because you know that seems like that's what a lot of people do when they're going through the early stage but y'all i did i had to reach for the tire bin almost that whole first month first through all the way up until my retwist is the longest that i wore my turban <laughs> y'all that turban was my best friend do you hear me okay that first month into the second month i had significant shrinkage like more than i could have ever imagined <laughs> my shrinkage that i had with my starter locks in that first month was comparable to the shrinkage that i got when I did wash and goes. If I could find a picture or a video of what my shrinkage looked like with my loose natural hair, I would show y'all. Because it came back, honey. You know what I'm saying? Like that shrinkage came back. Like we ain't went nowhere, okay? In one of my videos, I think it was in one of my vlogs when I first started my locks, when I was first doing my locks, I was saying, I do not want my bangs to go above my eyebrows. I was like, if my bangs go above my eyebrows, <laughs> I ain't doing it. I don't mind it shrinking up to give me like a cute like little bang or whatever, but I don't want it to shrink past my eyebrows. Like, it can't be up here like this. It can't, it can't be up here like this. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. And so my knowledge at first, it didn't look that way. <laughs> but, <laughs> honey, that first and second month showed me that yes. It is possible okay yeah i wasn't expecting that type of shrinkage it came the shrinkage definitely came but at this point i'm embracing the shrinkage i haven't been as like on it as i was when i was loose natural ever since i've been locked like i just been letting it do what it want to do i ain't even really been doing my baby hairs like that but that shrinkage <laughs> honey it was nothing to play with okay i couldn't even put my hair back into a ponytail that's how bad it was and so at the end of the first month i decided to wash my hair and not retwist i really wanted to hold out on my retwist because i really just want to get in the habit of not retwisting my hair that much i really want my locks to be nice and thick and healthy but i don't know what i was thinking y'all i had so many married roots loose strands were combining with other locks it was chaos okay at best i should have at least continued to separate my roots after that wash i don't think i really paid close attention to that still on that wash day after the first month i did have a lot of unraveling i feel like unraveling is like so dreaded in the starter lock phase nobody wants unraveling and I was like that, I'm still like that, but I was so like 
if I had unraveled and I was like, oh my God, like I just was panicking. I just didn't want that to happen. And because I had really bad dandruff, I didn't do the stocking cap method for my hair. So I was sure that I was gonna get some type of unraveling. I had a few locks unraveled and at first, I was just like, oh my gosh, like, is my hair gonna lock? Or I thought it was gonna set me back. After that, for like the next couple of days, even weeks, I still had unraveling. After a while, I just got used to it. And I realized that's part of the process. That's part of the journey. So if you find that you have a lot of unraveling, don't be discouraged, your hair will lock up. There's plenty of locks on my head that used to unravel constantly, especially like around my edges. They used to unravel constantly. Now I have no issues. They lock in and doing what they are supposed to do with no issues. I still have unraveling from time to time, but it's not as bad as it was. So month two, still frizz. Frizz has not changed. I can tell y'all now, months one, two, and three, frizz city, okay? Month two, after I did my first retwist, that is when the frizz kind of was at bay but please believe it it came back honey frizz came back just like it had been all the other months well not all the other months because it's only been two months but it came back just like it had the previous two months okay so with my first retwist you couldn't tell your girl nothing okay i just knew i was the bomb.com because i just felt so much closer to being locked just the experience of having the clip scene, you know what I'm saying, retwisting, you know, it's just that, it's just that feeling you get, you know? So I was feeling myself with my very first retwist. My hair still looks like two strand twists even now, but now people are starting to know like, okay, she's locking her hair instead of, oh, your hair is cute, you know, your two strand twist is cute. I've had people come to me now and like, okay, you locking your hair, that's cute. You know what I'm saying? So it makes me feel good to know like, okay, now they kind of trying to do a little something. So with this retwist, I did aloe vera gel and I used oil and water. I really love the aloe vera gel and I'm about to start incorporating aloe vera into my hair care regimen. I'm not sure how. I think I'm gonna make like a spritz, like a water because I don't plan on retwisting my hair with aloe vera every time i do plan on using aloe vera on my front locks and i'm really gonna probably stick to just oil and water only in most of my hair but i really loved how that aloe vera felt on my scalp i love how it soothed the irritation on my scalp in month one <laughs> Going into month two, I did spray my hair very frequently, especially when I first started my locks. I was spraying every time that I could because I figured the water would help my hair to lock faster. So at about two and a half months, I just started spraying my hair in the mornings and at nighttime. I do have a morning and nighttime routine video. It will be coming out right after this video. So y'all be on the lookout for that. In the mornings, I spray my hair and at night, I spray my hair. I spray my hair in the afternoons every once in a while, but I've really slowed down on that because I find that the less I spray it, the less unraveling that I have. And I also find that it just seems like my hair is finding its way. So I don't really have to spray it that much so now we're kind of just going into the current month which is month three and i've noticed in this month i've had a lot of shed hairs as far as like the loose hair that i'm having it's a lot compared to the first and second month and i'm assuming it's because you know my hair is finding its way and it's locking i'm sure it's part of the journey so when i do my hair like this like when i'm going through my hair but even now, I feel the loose hair. So I'm hoping that that's just a sign that we are moving along gracefully like we're supposed to. The shedding has been excessive, but I love it. <laughs> so here in month three currently, I haven't had any budding yet. So y'all, I thought I had budding but i really had bunching and i was so devastated y'all and i've been checking my locks every day for budding but so far 
no budding but i must say the frizz has started to cover up some of my swiss pattern I actually went in y'all and i've split a few of my locks like i've split several so i used to have four rows in the front it was one two three four and i split this row that was here i basically made the four rows i had here i made it five and then i redid the very back row back here i had five back here in the back and i made it six i have about 16 new starter locks and for that reason i'm going to be counting my locks today on camera i did have a count a rough count of how many locks i had before i split these locks but we're gonna get an actual count today but what i want you guys to do is i want y'all to go down in the comment section and tell me how many y'all think i have in my head right now just a rough count for reference i'm going to insert some pictures somewhere around me of what my hair looks like on the sides and in the back. And you guys can kind of look and see and guesstimate how many locks y'all think I have because right now, currently, I don't even know. My prediction is I feel like I have around 97, 98 locks. So we are gonna see, I'm a little excited y'all. I ain't even gonna lie, so let's get it. So I'm gonna section it, I'm gonna do four sections. Let's take it back to the loose natural days. Also have a pen and paper right here because I have ADHD and I forget numbers just like that. For each section, I'm gonna write down the number and then we are gonna do the math. I'm gonna start in the back. One, two. <laughs> Thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. Thirty-three locks on the back left hand side. Okay. Thirty-three. Back left. Let's do the back right. Thirty-one on the back right side. Since we are already on the right side. We gonna go ahead and count the locks on the front right. Even number, we have 20 on the front right side. All right, let's do the front left. 19 in the front. So let's do the math, okay? Okay, y'all, much to my surprise, I have 103 locks. I was kind of hoping that I stayed under 100. Like, I really wanted 99 locks. I don't know why. I have 103 locks, and I love all 103 locks. They're all different sizes, all different shapes, but I love them all. Make sure, if you haven't already, to like this video because it helps my channel out so 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 much hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and the notification bell next to that subscribe button so that you're notified every time one of my videos go up and with that being said y'all i'm out deuces see you guys on the next one bye I promise we'll find love again. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh.